Hi, guys, and welcome back to Investing in New Hampshire with me, Carla Garrick of Porcupine Real Estate. Uh, before we take a closer look at today's property pick, please, 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 please remember to sign up for our newsletter because it's going to make all this information that the wonderful Brittany Pring from Ledgeview Commercial brings to us make sense. So make sure you get to that newsletter, porcupinepicks, tinyurl.com forward slash Porcupine Picks. So this week, Miss Brittany, we have a property up in Hanover. And that's in the Upper Valley region for free staters and people listening. That would be in the Croydon region. And in fact, I actually lived up this way when I originally moved to New Hampshire. So I actually love the town. It's very lefty, but it's kind of cool. So tell us a little bit about this unit. Yeah, so you are up north. You are actually 3.4 miles straight shot to Dartmouth in this. Uh, uh, it's a converted home. So it's an amazing um, opportunity um, to go into a home that's been converted into three units. So it's a three bedroom, uh, like uh, in the home itself. And then there's been two converted one bedroom apartments off to the side of it. So this could be a really cool, like turnkey um, investment property up in Hanover, or it could be a house hack where you live, maybe if you're downsizing in that nice little one bedroom, or you rent the nice big three bedroom yourself and you rent out the uh, two one bedrooms. I also really like this because it's got a hobby farm. So it looks oh, like wow. someone's been house hacking this. So maybe you want a few acres. You want about, I think it's about four or five acres, you know, where you're still close enough to a nice little town. You've got the college vibe things like that. And maybe you want to grow some food or raise some chickens. I don't know. It's a cool opportunity to kind of get the best of both worlds. I think especially at the price point that this is listed at, it's really nice whether you wanted to live in it and house hack or, you know, take advantage of it as a full rental. And so I think we're going to get a slide here that's going to tell us, I, if I remember correctly, it's at six ninety nine nine hundred. dollars yes. uh, The units are one three bedroom and then two one bedroom. So as you say, this would kind of be ideal. You know, it's up in Hanover. It's uh, close to Dartmouth. The city of Hanover has fantastic restaurants. It mm -hmm. has a really cool vibe. You know, Dartmouth gets shows up there all the time. There, I've seen like really cool little bands there. They have an art studio, The Hood, which is an art museum. Uh, there really is a really good quality of living up in that area. I would say, especially for people who are coming maybe from a bigger city or sort of used to the amenities of, of you know, living in a New York or a city. San Francisco. I'm not saying it's anything like that, <laughs> but it is on a smaller scale. There's a Korean yeah. restaurant. You know, there's, there's, you know, it, it's got a little bit of an international flair because, of course, Dartmouth is an Ivy League school that gets, you know, students from across the world. And this is the kind of space, I think, where you could either be renting to students, so you know you would have fixed income coming that way, or adjunct professors, you know, a, a certain quality of a person who's coming in who might be looking for a, a shorter rental, but who's willing to pay premium. So, you know, I'm pretty sure you would hardly ever have open space in no, a place like this. This area does have a very significant housing shortage. So, you know, it's not a it's not a bad place to have an investment property. And the listing even says that, hey, if you're really just looking for that extra large farmhouse of your dreams, you could just turn it back into, you know, the 12 room, three bathroom. And, and that's really a good price point for that as well. So somebody, you know, New Hampshire has it all. I love this doing this with you because we get to kind of like play that imagination game. Like, you know, oh, I want to be in this area. Or I think I want this. And, and really just talking about the investment options throughout the state and what the little pieces and regions look like and, and what you could do with a listing that might not have gotten your attention is really awesome. Right. And we'll get to that in a hot second when we kind of go into our imagination picks. But just for folks who might be listening, yes. um, you know, the projected revenue for this is close to 100000 for this investment property in, Dar you know, in Hanover, near Dartmouth, Ivy League. Yes. Great opportunity. Yeah. So right now it's only bringing in 1840 a month. So it does look like they've got maybe some long term tenants in those one bedroom units or maybe they are smaller kind of studio style ish. But that is absolutely uh, pretty low to market. So you've got room if you want to keep those same you know tenants um, or if you wanted to do the entire thing, um, you know, you really do have a lot of revenue potential. Um, up to about that $99,000. I don't think that's, now that's high end of market, but you know, if you want to manage it like a high end investment and, and really take care and maintain and, and love on it, it's going to happen. 
And of course, as you said, opportunity there for a little farming, a little gentleman's farm, as we like to call it up this way. Uh, so really good quality of living options, good revenue options, great area for the right people. And uh, and so really exciting property that, you know, is part of our newsletter. This is where people can get the information to learn more about these things, because as we like to say, we think every libertarian in the world should own a piece of New Hampshire. So for that, and with our imagination pick, <laughs> I love that term, we have, this is a short-term pick, and uh, guys might remember that we talked about a, a uh, train depot a few weeks ago. For folks who are following, you'll remember because I said, I like to say the word caboose. <laughs> and so here, <laughs> it's not quite a caboose, but we do have this uh, train depot I believe it's in the Lakes region. What can you tell us about this one? Yeah, so this used to be part of the Boston uh, Main Railroad. So this is actually the one that we had talked about previously. Um, you know, it had its own caboose. This doesn't have that, but this also hasn't been reimagined. So the price point on this is so good. I think it's just about $150,000. And it's right for someone to come in and create, you know, a similar situation to what we had seen that one bedroom in that inside the train depot. It's, it, you know, it could become like an off the grid, you know, where this is kind of the shelter. And then you've got, you know, maybe you don't install plumbing and bathroom and kitchen. You do an outdoor kitchen and an outdoor restroom and things like that. So maybe you don't even have to pump the crazy amount of capital because People like to, you know, go Airbnb in yurts. They're not going to be upset to have this really cool, look how beautiful the inside of that structure looks. I just love it. It looks so inviting and awesome. And um, it's really, it's an opportunity to just make something awesome in the state of New Hampshire to come here, own a piece of land, like you say, and improve it, which is, you know, one of the things that I love about what I get to do is continuing to build up the community here in New Hampshire. Absolutely. And of course, I mean, at 150, which is a really attractive price point to get, I forget how much land it is, but some land because there's a building there, a building that looks, you know, fine on the inside and having this sort of opportunity to make a cool space that you could either live in, you could create a short term rental, Airbnbs, rented out. Of course, we know here in our community, there's constantly people coming in looking to come visit the state, come meet the community, that kind of stuff. So as more people invest in these short-term picks where they are creating both equity for themselves, but also creating opportunities for other people who want to come visit because, you know, New Hampshire does have a housing shortage currently. And so I think for the right people with the right investments, there's a lot of upside here. Anything else you want folks to know? No, I would say that this one, um, you know, you you get to make the change. Somebody who's looking at uh, a real estate, you know, rental or investment property isn't necessarily going like, oh, this, you know, abandoned train depot. <laughs> <laughs> Caboose is the one for sexy. me. <laughs> uh, so, you know, just keep an eye out that, that you guys do a great list at Porcupine Real Estate with the Porcupine Picks and some of these imagined issues. And I, I love that we get to kind of flush them out, you and I, on this. On Very this, uh, wonderful. Page. Let folks know how we can find you. So it's B for Brittany, ping, like a ping pong ball at ledgeviewcommercial.com. And for everyone listening, please go sign up for our newsletter, tinyurl.com forward slash porcupine picks and you can always find me carla garrick for porcupine real estate at carla at porcupine real estate.com thanks Brittany. i'll talk to you again next week thank you